Did you know that Fairbanks has some of the worst air quality in the nation? The Fairbanks North Star Borough currently does not meet air quality standards for fine particulate matter, also known as PM2.5. PM2.5 is associated with negative health impacts on one's heart and lungs. Hello, my name is Dominique Pride. And I'm Alana Velaji. We're researchers at the Alaska Center for Energy and Power at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. Researchers at the Alaska Center for Energy and Power are conducting a study that may help improve air quality and reduce home heating costs. Burning wood for home heating is currently the largest source of PM2.5 in the borough, but burning wood is cheaper than using heating fuel oil. This puts households in the difficult position of choosing between healthy air quality and more affordable home heating. This is an electric thermal storage heater, or ETS heater for short. An ETS heater is a type of supplementary heating appliance. These heaters could help reduce PM2.5 if households use them to displace a portion of their wood heat. Inside an ETS heater, an electric element is used to heat ceramic bricks that are enclosed in an insulated box. As the bricks heat up, they store heat. A fan blows air across the hot bricks heating the air, which is then blown into the home. The Alaska Center for Energy and Power is conducting an ETS heater field study that will take place over three years in North Pole, Alaska. The goal of the study is to learn whether ETS heaters can help reduce home heating costs and improve air quality. The study area includes two neighborhoods located above Hearst Road in North Pole where higher levels of PM2.5 have historically been recorded and natural gas distribution lines have not been installed yet. In the first year of the study, we will install up to 100 outdoor air quality sensors and 20 weather stations over the study area to gather baseline data on PM2.5 before any ETS heaters are installed. One neighborhood will be selected as the treatment neighborhood where ETS heaters will be installed and one neighborhood will be selected as the control neighborhood where we will continue to collect data without any ETS heaters. In the second year of the study, up to 50 ETS heaters will be installed in homes that currently heat with both fuel oil and wood in the treatment neighborhood. The electricity used by the ETS heaters will be subsidized to reduce the cost of heating with electricity. In the second and third year of the study, we will continue to collect air quality and weather data to see if the ETS heaters have any impact. There will be a survey each year on heating and transportation fuel use. Those who complete the survey each year will be given a $25 Amazon gift card. The information collected from the survey will allow us to control for factors beyond ETS heaters that may impact air quality in the study area, such as people switching to natural gas or using electric vehicles. At the end of the study, all homes that installed an air quality sensor will be able to keep the sensor, their data, and be given $50 for their participation. Homes that installed a weather station will also be able to keep their weather station. The ETS heaters will be removed from participants' homes and donated to a rural community that currently has an electric thermal storage heating program. For more information on the study, please visit asep.uaf.edu slash E-T-S-H. That's A-C-E-P dot U-A-F dot E-D-U slash E-T-S-H.